His name uh, have already uh, exceed yes, our yes, yes, okay. Yes. Who's booking? No. Pui. Booking Pui. Some say our guest right got superhuman metabolism. Some more two to pui pang. Oi, go here. Oi. Some also say this guy is so hard to book. I feel him 10 months ago saying he will collab with us, right? He now then appear. Some say, last time we're fucking, right? Whoever we want to show, right? They will work with us, right? But this place reject us, hey. right? Only our guests can make her show hey. with us. Right? Introducing some. <laughs> so today, what are you bringing us to eat? Today, I want to show you guys my favorite wonton noodle Ooh. in Singapore. I always have an uh, impression of the man. Can eat a lot of food. But I'm not sure good on. Oh. Ah. Right, right, right. So today, we'll find out, okay, all the good good eats around the central area. Right. So, we'll go check it out now. Right now, we are at Hong Lim Market and we are trying Ti Ti Wan Tan Mi. You Si Wan Tan Mi. You Si Wan Tan Mi. You try, okay? It's one of my top three in Singapore. It's a store on their own. Right? So, yeah. this is their ah. typical wonton noodle set. Right? Then, just now, when we go try to say, you all know Food King, we want to come here and film. They say, no. Right? Then, we say, uh, Azamet. Then he said, oh, okay. Hey, she reject a lot of people. Uh. Like, Jackson Wang want to come down, she also reject. Jackson? Oh, yeah, yeah. Jackson also Wang eh. reject. Yeah. Eh. His name uh, have already uh, exceed yes, our yes, yes, okay. Yes. Who's booking? No. Pui! Booking Pui! Because this is their signature one. So they actually include a lot of ingredients like they got wonton char siu, they got the dry one and the fried one yeah. one. Yeah. I wow. don't use the organic or food show one, but this it ruined all future wonton mee for me. <laughs> like this is the standard the whole thing. The go-to wonton mee that I bring all my overseas friends, YouTubers or whoever. Wow. This one. It's unlike any type of wonton mee that I eat before. It's not the Hong Kong style, Sui Jing Mian style. Yes, or yes, it's yes, not the yes, yes. Malaysian white black style. It's also not the Singapore Pon Tien or Pei Pei. It's a style on its own. Yeah, yeah, it's really a style on its own. There's nothing quite like it. We call it the Zermet style now. Yeah, Zermet style. <laughs> la, <laughs> okay. So the thing about their noodle is really, they cook it al dente on. And then the sauce, right? Right, it's really saturated until very, very short. I feel like the aroma and the fragrance, right, it lingers in my mouth after I eat it. Yeah. For me, it's just all the components is good. You know, some wonton meat, oh, yeah, the yeah. noodle is good, but the wonton, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. very sad. Yeah, some, the char siu, like, very yeah. sad, dry, yeah. but all this right. one is all components good. Wow. The soup also quite short. Even their soup, right, they have additional ingredients like goji berry, red date or something. Somebody else came here. I think one of my viewers, he like, came here and eat. And then he told me, must try the chicken feet. The chicken feet, right, is very fleshy a lot of meat. Taste-wise, I think it's above average. Not mind-blowing. Yeah, it's not mind-blowing. It's not to die for. Lah. I've never tried their colored noodles. We cannot say about the chicken skin. They don't even say about the chicken skin. so bloody good. You order colored noodles, maybe yeah, you get bonus. Yeah, you get... I want to let you hear the crunch test for the chicken skin. The skin is ultra crispy, as you can hear from my punch test. Oh, it's not yeah. very flaky. Everything feels well put together. It looks like it's chicken breast, right? But it's not dry. I will still say, la, the noodles still steal the show. Huh? The noodles is really another beast. Eh. There's no ingredient, right, that I have complaints about. We do this kind of food show, we will say, like, hey, the noodle is good. Yeah, yeah. You can skip the rest. Don't skip anything here. Now I feel like cancelling this episode. Eh. If not, if not, next time, how I come here? <laughs> the queue is really insane. Yeah. Is your... They even have to put a signboard that says, right, during peak hour, you're expected to wait one hour plus. What? I know they Lian Shi a lot of many many years, right? They get the Michelin Big Oman. Big Oman. Right, right, right. Big Oman is just understar. So far in all our episode of um, Get Fat, right? We gave Xiao Chen the leaderboard, right? Because she brought us a very nice ban mein. Zermet go to number one. <laughs> Zermet is number one. This is freaking excellent. What we like about this place? Everything. There's nothing I don't like. There is one thing that I don't like. Their chili is lacking. Oh. You can try it. Never mind. It's okay. <laughs> I'm going to destroy the image I have of this wonton mee. <laughs> this is the best recommendation we have so far on this show. So we are head on to the next location. Before the camera start rolling, right? Because someone came and take photo with you. Oh, yeah. And then, right? Ryan, nobody take with him, man. Eh. First time I see, right? Ryan got ignored. And it brings me to my question. Because ah. we have to interview our guests, yeah, right? right? Ryan has been in this industry for about 10 years, 10 right? years right? Ah. How long have you been in the YouTube industry? Towards the end of 2018, right? If you do for like three months, then I got this yeah. event. <laughs> I also self-say, well, okay, lah, five, six years. Five, six years, yeah, six years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, what made you like want to come into this industry? No, it started from eating contests, oh. and then I realized that I should start documenting all this. Started filming on my own, then eventually got a got a few got a team. Uh. I want to ask right, what is one thing right the general public don't know about? I'm ambidextrous, so I can oh. use both hands. Left hand, right no. hand can do <laughs> I, 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 I
Back to the food, we still at the same place and we are having our hand curry meal. So this was previously featured on Food King. I cannot remember much about it, but I always feel curry meal cannot go very wrong. Right? This bowl of noodles right also has the Michelin guide. Unlike some common curry noodles, right, they use a mix of two noodles, which is me and Bee Hoon. Right? And then the chicken they use right is very similar to like Hainanese chicken rice. Do you know that they actually specifically select their choice of chicken one? Right? When they buy chicken rice, right, it has to be between certain weight. If I'm not wrong, it's between <laughs> 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 They only order chicken right between the weight of 2.2 to 2.5 kg The chicken is very tender, very smooth, very silky in fact Very very succulent and then at the same time it's very meaty also I don't remember they have big chunk of fish cake Maybe they all along have I tried the chop Okay, because it looks watery but it tastes thick I think the soup is drinkable one Curry noodle places I eat right, it's usually very pasty To me the soup is on the sweeter side It's not very spicy right, or right. something that made me eat until I sweat kind right. It's more Tangy and sweet. Are you sweating? This cause is hot la. <laughs> <laughs> The tau pok, when you suck up all the juice ah, burst of flavor. Right, From what I can vaguely remember, I think there's two curry mee that is known here. Yeah. Both is also good. Okay, so overall, I think as far as curry mee go right, it's all around the same to me. Doesn't matter which one you go la, both is also good. La. I think to me, the star of the show is the chicken. Oh. It's really very, very juicy and tender. It, it somewhat reminds me of like, when I go buy tea fun, right, I, I like to buy Thai. So I think it's very reasonable. A lot of meat, everything is done well. If we were to rate them again, they will still retain their star. La. It's still good. La. I agree, I agree. Yeah. This one is really good. I think it's a little bit special because it comes with the bihun and the chicken is so specifically picked. The chicken is like insanely soft. I had a piece of chicken breast and right. it's still very very juicy still as well. Juicy la. I wish right they have rice. I like to eat my curry with rice. Ah, I also like to order curry me without the <laughs> no, no, mm. I want the rice. I would think right this curry with rice is gonna be awesome. I would think this curry with rice might lack because this curry they watered down a bit. It depends what type of uh, curry you like. Lo. Some mm. people like the more thick one, some people like the watery one. I personally like the funeral one. Uh, the the funeral curry. Uh, 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 so, uh, uh, some uh, uh, curry is the best. Uh. That's the best. Yeah. Okay, we will head over to the last location. We are at Tam Jia Kopi Tiam, which is started by Miss Tam Jia and two other celebrities, Dennis Chu and Zhou Chu Ming. So there was a lot of hype around it. They have a lot of interesting food. And one of the food that I saw, right, is this place called Tan Lao. What's their unique selling point is they have this silky, milky, creamy egg over their rice. None of us tried this before, yeah, but we all saw it before. A lot of hype uh, on a lo social. A lot of hype. When I first came right, I was like, eh, must order the fan xie tan, the tomato egg one. I was like, it looks appetizing to me. So we will start with fan xie tan because it can be a So we will try it. I yeah. realized they got two types of fan xie. When they yeah. put the cherry bone, tomato and yeah. this You know fan xie tan, usually they add a bit of ketchup. I think that is absent. Yeah, so there's no sweetness. Eh. I think the saving grace, the egg is actually quite okay. I mean, they are called tan lao. They are egg better than good. I know they shouldn't be called tan lao. I don't want to be very brutal, but I think it can still be improved. I think what can be improved is if they add that ketchup, they have the sweetness of it, right? I think they put too much tomato. The consistency is also a little off bit for off for me. Uh. Not is not so watery. Man. Sorry, man, it's a miss for me. Okay, so next up, this one looks promising. We are having the chicken cutlet luncheon meat omelette rice. The luncheon meat looks chunky. Uh. Honestly, right, that chicken is quite good. It tastes a bit of hard chunky. It's decent, it's not bad. I don't know why it has a bit of a westernized flavor. The egg is very nice on its own. Yeah. Okay, it's creamy. Agree, yeah. But on top of the rice, like, it's served no purpose. It feels like two separate components. They really cook the egg quite quite well. Yeah, yeah. It's just that I don't know. I feel like the rice lacks something. I think it's because of the fact they use this style of rice, the Chinese style, one, not oh, the Japanese yeah, tonsu mi. Tonsu mi when they absorb all the egg, it, oh, wow, it's just heavenly. But maybe they can flavor the rice. What I hope they do better is find something that complements the egg. If I'm the chef la, when the egg is uh, on top of the rice, right, I will might put some demi glaze. So I think it might merge everything together. I think actually every different uh, very Right, it should have a different sauce. Uh. Yeah, That's yeah, what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Okay, next up, this one is the prawn omelette, but it has fried rice. So this fried rice looks like wok hay. I hope they find something that compliment, right? They found it. Uh, they found it, they found it, they found it. So far, what we try, right? You have to order the fried rice, and I think the chicken color and the luncheon meat as protein is good. This one actually not bad. Uh. It's like I would slam a lot of this. Eh. Like yes. what you said, it brings out the wok hay, right? Even the egg got wok hay one. Eh. This was my worst worrying dish. It doesn't look much right, because right. they cover the whole fried rice. But when I see the fried rice is the dark dark one, right? Wow, I don't common cut one. Total got two outlet. Only the Oven outlet got this fried rice. More the egg, right? How the sang mein is like cooked and solidified, it. but how the sia mein is a little bit more creamy and it flows into the rice. Especially for this one. This one feels more cooked, you see? Yeah, I was thinking, how come this one feels more watery? I think I know why. Because yeah, uh, the temperature control for the egg, right? Not that easy to achieve. So consistency might be a problem. But this was done very well. Wow, this is uh, actually quite good. 
The prawn is, I'm just gonna be honest, it's just prawn. Lah. For the last dish, we are having their cha siu omelette rice. Yeah. At first glance, it doesn't look like cha siu. But I just received news from the producer, right? It was sold out. They oh. keep it for us. Eh. It's more like Japanese cha siu. You know when you eat ramen? American pork. Yeah. Or it looks like luro. It doesn't taste like what it looks like. Because what you look like, you might think it's like kong ba pao le tai or luro or whatever thing. Lah. Anything but cha siu. Ni jiang tian ni bu tian. Ni jiang lu wei ye mei lu wei. Ni jiang xian ye bu xian. What turned me off about this one is the sauce doesn't go together. Right, with it doesn't complement. Yeah, the, the sauce just. I don't know why the sauce is there. Usually there's layer of flavors right. that comes in, right? And then right. it punches me like. Then I love it. It makes sense. But it makes this sense. This sauce doesn't right, right, really right. make sense to me. Cha siu, honestly, I don't know why it's so out. Yeah. I'm confused because it looks like it's Japanese yeah, yeah, yeah. style, but it tastes like Chinese cha siu. Okay, say if you come here. There's only two things I can, in good conscience, recommend you to From eat. From the bottom of your heart? From the bottom of my heart. The prawn omelette fried rice and the chicken cutlet with the luncheon meat. But ah, don't make the mistake ah, of specifically driving out of your way to come here and try ah, because you'll be quite disappointed. What I don't like. Ah, between these two particular dish, ah, which is the fan xie tan and I the, think this is more more jialat. And the cha sa, I will think the cha sa more jialat. For the rest of your life, you can only eat this. Between these two. I starve ah. Hey, no, I stop that bad. I would choose the char siu one because at least it has proteins. I find it very wasted, right? That the egg is good one. Yeah, but, but it doesn't complement anything. Honestly, right? I think this two is worth a try. Okay. This two really can try. Okay, so this char siu, right? It's not as bad as they say. It's actually still decent. But their egg is good. Their egg is really good. I come here for the egg. And eating the fried rice, it's actually very aromatic. So you're coming here, maybe you can add $2 to top up the fried rice. Today we visited three places. What is your ultimate favorite? Yeah, I think we all agree that today is favorite. the Titi Watabi. Yeah. It has to be. Yeah. That one is really quite mind blowing. Yeah. This is one of my favorite guests on Get Fat. Yeah. 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 The most polite one. He give us food. Look at Norbin, it's a cow baby. Tell me, which one meal is so hard? Our guest first time serve us food. Yeah, like, then, give then, the... Xiao Jian first time meet you, he chop me. Everybody was a guest. Zamet, Zamet. Can... Say polite. Applause for Zamet. Okay, remember as always, follow all our socials, follow his socials, click here for more, click here to what, and cut to the bloopers. Three, two, one, action. Okay. If you want to be a filmmaker, this is what you have to put up with. Uh, you want to be YouTuber, social media, airplane, you hear the airplane? You hear all the auntie? You hear all the people start to work the moment we roll? It's like that one.